Hemopoiesis is the process of making red blood cells. Red blood cells are made in the bone in the red bone marrow. After they're made and released into the bloodstream, they'll circulate for about 120 days. After about 120 days, the red blood cells are often a little ragged and the liver and spleen will filter the old cells out and break them down. They'll specifically take the hemoglobin component of red blood cells and break it down into heme and globin. These two parts can be either recycled or excreted through, from the body through feces and urine. During this 120 days, the kidneys are on constant alert. Kidneys play a key role in monitoring blood. The kidneys make erythropoietin, or EPO, which is a hormone that acts on the red bone marrow to stimulate erythrocyte production. If the kidneys sense that the hematocrit, or percent of red blood cells in the blood, is too low, it'll make more EPO, they'll act on the bone marrow to create even more erythrocytes. Now, this caught the attention of some people in the athletics world. They found out that you could use EPO to blood dope. Now what blood doping is, is when you have an athlete and they are at their peak performance, let's say here's a really strong athlete, he's got big biceps, and he wants to increase his performance a little bit more, get a little faster, a little stronger. If they can increase their, their hematocrit, or the number of red blood cells they have, they can deliver more oxygen to their muscles and organs. So they found two ways to blood dope. One is they can utilize erythropoietin, that hormone made by the kidneys. They inject EPO, they can force their bone marrow to make more erythrocytes. Another way that they can blood dope is they can take some of their own red blood cells out and put it in the freezer, so to say. So they'll take some of their blood out take those extra erythrocytes and store it and allow their body to make to replace the blood they took out. Then right before their big race or their big competition they can take those erythrocytes and put them back into their body so now they have increased their hematocrit. Now this seems like a good idea because now they have more erythrocytes circulating through their body they can carry more oxygen to their muscles but this is also very dangerous because it increases the viscosity of the blood. This puts, puts excess strain on the heart and can lead to severe problems and even death. So that's why blood doping was eventually banned. But instead we can be grateful that our kidneys monitor this for us by producing EPO.